Hi, Cy here for Music Radar. Uh, I'm joined once again by the delectable Cy Truss, future music editor. Hello. You love that, of course. Yeah. Um, today we are checking out Amp Studio version 2. Yeah. Right? So, version 2 is now featuring a brand new Hum Beats feature. So, they did a, an app a while ago. Yeah, I remember that from uh, last year, maybe? Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Now they've incorporated that into their online DAW. Amp Studio. And so Hum Beats is this thing where we can basically beatbox and hum and then turn that into MIDI. Yes. Theoretically. Yeah, nice and easy. People like ourselves yeah. could convert our ramblings into MIDI. Yeah. Here. Sounds um, dangerous. It does sound dangerous. It's going to be really dangerous. Quickly, though, we'll have show you the, uh, the sort of the workflow of uh, Amp Studio. Yep. It looks like most other DAWs. It's familiar territory here. Um, Tracks come down the side here. We've got device chain down the bottom. Sound library on the side. It's all very simple. Yeah. It's that simple. I'm going to get you to do. Yeah. And I've basically not seen this before. I'm sorry. You're, you're just, fresh You're into guiding this. me you're through fresh this. Into all this. right. Let's do um, I can't actually beatbox. And my humming's pretty bad. Yeah. But I'm going to do that bit. Let's see how this works then. <laughs> yeah. Badly. So, uh, right. You arm a track. I'm going to get my headphones on. Cool. So we have, um, we've armed the track. We're yeah. just going to record through the. Uh, built in mic in my MacBook here, keep it nice and easy. Yeah. Uh, go down to 95 BPM because you are pretty slow. Yeah, but I want to get that vibe going, man. Yeah, cool. Let's see what we can do. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Right click on the. On the region. audio? Yeah. Yeah, and the two options you get. Detect hum, detect beatbox. I'm guessing we're detecting beatbox. Indeed. Which is, I'd loosely describe okay, that as beatbox. Right. Uh, yeah, With so it dicks. looks like we've now got some MIDI stuff. It's in there. Here. Uh, we need to add something down here. We've got the drumpler. That's right, is, they're on board. I guess from the name, a sample based drum machine. Indeed. And so we're going to use this. Yep. Let's have a little listen. We'll open up a preset to go with the funk preset. I think well, that's I think the you're one kind to of go. feeling a bit funky. I was. So we've got. Um, so it's kind of it's worked out the the rough idea of what's yeah. going on here. I'm going to have a little tidy of this up now. We can basically just move those, work make your, it into a slightly work your magic, slightly more sensible version. Yeah, go cool. for it. Yeah, cool. So we've basically just moved these MIDI notes around so that they're on drums that kind of match up to sort of what you were going for. Yeah, and we yeah. sort of tightened up the tidy uh, the timing a little bit so it's now kind of more like this. Fly. What can I say? You've... It's a bit basic, but you know it's. You made me sound amazing. I'm working with what I got here. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to add a second track, and we're going to use the hum function. Hum yeah? function. So now watch me. Yeah, show me what you can do then. Flex my your magic. hum chops. Cool. Um, let's have a little listen and see how this sounds. <laughs> Not rubbish, actually. I. It's a stretch to say it's okay. tuneful, right. but all right. It, all right. All right. fair enough, fair enough. It is kind of recognisably an attempt at music. Yes. That's so we're going to try and turn this life. into something. Uh, going to try and turn this into something a bit more uh, tuneful. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Uh, I'm guessing we're going with the same right click. Right click on the region. Yeah. Uh, and this then time. detect hum this time. Yeah. So. So it's the algorithms, algorithms doing their thing. Yeah. So this time it's looking for. Probably looking quite hard to find some sort of discernible melody in there. Oh, and then fancy. if we open it up in the editor, you can see we've got some notes. Um, if we go on the audio editor, you can see that it's kind of picked up they, some notes. They can done a pretty, pretty decent job yeah. of uh, working out something that kind Where of matches. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to use a. We need something to play that MIDI info. Exactly. Don't we? So, yeah, in the device chain, their little synth is called Vault Mini. Cool. Let's open that up. They are. Very basic, sort of subtractive style. Yeah, classic plugin synth yeah. thing. So we'll open up a preset. Let's go with this uh, bass sub glide. Yeah, I like that one. See how this one sounds. Sounds good. I've just uh, moved the timing of this one a little bit there to just tighten it up and make it a bit closer to what we reckon you were going for. Let's have a little listen. Very close. Yeah, that's not bad. It's kind yeah. of close enough. Yeah. yeah. I think that's. And now we Admirable let's effort. unsolo that so we can hear it with our drums as okay. well. Okay. So we got. So it's it's pretty basic and rough around the edges at the moment. It but is. what we have done is turned your 
very basic and rough around the edges noises <laughs> into something that we Thank can you. start playing around with. Yeah, we? we haven't had to touch any of the editing, like yeah. you know, input, you know, like keyboards or anything. And it's, so there's loads more we can now do with this in this, right? Well, that's right. Well, I mean, it's a DAW. I mean, yeah. you can just build more tracks. You can, you know, break out more kind of. Um, instruments on there. If we look down in the device chain here, there's some effects. We've got reverb, we've got EQ, delay, exactly. limiter, stuff like that. Their own WAM, um, kind of plugin hosting. Okay, so we can protocol. bring other plugins and yeah. things in. Um, uh, there's sort of automation things and editing and exactly. stuff like that. You've got a whole sound library of free stuff here. Yeah. Um, there is paid for content if you want to, you know, dive back into that, or you can bring your own in, of course. You can import any audio files you want. Yeah. So you can kind of build the whole thing within, within this, um, you know, uh, environment here, or you can just export your tracks and then take them to uh, another DAW of your choice. You know, yep. back back home in the studio, you might have Ableton running or whatever. Um, one thing it does miss, and we think we'd love to see in the uh, in, in maybe another iteration, is if you could export the MIDI. That'd be yeah, because that'd be cool if you could make those little drum beats and synth things, and then just pass it on to another. Yeah, chuck it something else later yeah. on. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, but so I thank you very much for um, enabling my. Path to stardom. Suffering through your. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. You did very well. Thank you. That's what I need. And on that note, we'll say goodbye, I think. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Cheers.